Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today I just wanted to take a look at this series that has gone on and, and was even remade called V for the visitors through here. And that many signs have shown that something like this could happen at the end of days. We could have a visitation through there. Now, we're going to take a look at this trailer here, which shows these, these individuals coming from a planet near Sirius and that they represent the red side coming. See here, all of the reds coming for V. We will show how this is in the Bible. And it shows about these reptilian type influences and stuff. In the Bible, it talks of mixing two things together, the iron and the clay. Some believe it might be machines of mankind, and others believe this reptilian type influence living inside of humanity will be going on right here through that. See that there? Well, we're going to take a look at some of that, because that's mentioned in the Bible. First off, we have to realize, well, what does the V stand for in the Bible? It stands for the fifth trumpet, and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit, which some have said this could be the CERN Hadron Collider also, ready to open a porthole, or even a wormhole through time. All of these things are possible and up to discussion but they open the bottomless pit. So we have a star that falls from heaven, the fifth trumpet, the fifth angel, the V, the final battle, just like Armageddon coming right here. In the series, they like to use a lot of people through these things. They're, they're just like vision boards. They show over and over again little clues. Mark Singer, fighting for the humans, is known as Mike Donovan, just like Mike the Archangel trying to defend mankind. And for those that don't know it, Jesus comes with the voice of an archangel. Michael is that voice at the end times as he takes on these guys over here, the, I mean, the bad side rising up, if you will, the Reds, the V, who some say the, the American secret government and other secret governments around the USA might actually be working with these guys already. Now, is there any other place in the Bible that this might seem like something like that could happen? Yes. In the Revelation 18 millstone that is cast down is just like the star falling from heaven. Revelation 18:21, And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And this is when the great earthquake happens. <coughs> Excuse me. That we've been showing on our channel through the evidence that a great earthquake hits the USA at this time, crippling the USA and causing the New World Order to rise up. So we have two, three, four things there, showing the V, showing the great millstone. See the flying saucers are as great millstones. We're going to watch a trailer for this now, and they're going to talk about them coming. And then in the trailer, you will hear them say about 50 ships. 5 0, 50 ships, again like the fifth age coming, and coming to deceive mankind. In this series, they are always trying to deceive the people of the earth. At the very end of this, they actually do make a new type of human being blended together with the two sides. And then she actually leaves and goes off with these people. But they do create a hybrid type being. So let's take a look at this trailer for the old series and then we'll dive into this more. The visitors arrived in 50 gigantic motherships which stunned the world with their monumental size and power. We have come in peace because we need your help. And in return, we will gladly share with you all the fruits of our knowledge. Talk about an offer we can't refuse, huh? So what would happen if we did? Manufacturing plants around the world were retooled to produce chemicals the visitors need for survival on their planet. In the weeks that followed, the visitors became a new and friendly part of our lives. You go to movies? Uh, I do not. Yes. 
a visitor youth organization was formed, encouraging teenagers to join their ranks. The visitors were quickly assimilated into our culture. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Many close relationships developed between our people and theirs. But there were some who were skeptical, too inquisitive. They began to quickly disappear. And then... The world was shocked today when Nobel Prize winner Dr. Morris Jankowski of the Brussels Biomedical Institute in Belgium held a press conference to reveal the existence of an international conspiracy against the visitors. Jankowski had unshakable proof that a conspiracy of scientists around the world was about to seize control of visitor ships for their own gain. A groundswell of resentment and prejudice quickly built against the world scientific community. I can't work for you no more. Because my husband is a scientist? Yeah, he wrecked it up, said I was just a dirty little scientist kid. Another biochemist, uh, Phyllis, she didn't show today. Just like Ruth and all the others. No truth to those rumors. Shall I stay then? See you, Daddy. Becoming more deeply suspicious of the visitors, news cameraman Mike Donovan infiltrated one of the huge motherships and discovered that the visitors had orchestrated the conspiracy themselves so that scientists would be ostracized around the world. And Donovan also videotaped another startling revelation. As Donovan's tape was about to be broadcast. Just off. Somebody's pulled AT&T right out from under us. The whole damn network's off the air. Look, we know what's happening. Totalitarian suppression of the truth. Not only on television, but they've got the papers too. We are under martial law. And paranoia. You've got to be more careful what you say. What? In my own house? But he lives here. You don't really think you call them, do you? Mike Donovan has become a fugitive. Hunter. Scientist Robert Maxwell and his family, unable to escape the visitor's tightening net, have been given refuge by Abraham Bernstein, a survivor of Hitler's death camps. They have to stay, or else we haven't learned a thing. And the resistance movement has begun with the theft of equipment for a biochemical lab spearheaded by med student Juliet Parrish and Dr. Ben Taylor, who was mortally wounded. Oh my God. <laughs> For victory, you understand? Go tell your friends. And now, the conclusion of V. Well, so there you go. It shows a visitation coming for the fifth age. Now, in the Bible, it says that this will be a great deception, that they're actually going to come to try and deceive mankind. Whatever it is, we don't know exactly what it is, but it, it can be something just like this. So we have to be aware of these things. In the Denver International Airport, they have all these murals showing all of the end times coming, and it shows this ship crashing. See it right here? and then the red rope of Rahab for everybody to go up and over the Rainbow Bridge and to pass over this beast that's coming. See the beast right here? But you can see that that's coming and that's as the wheel of the Great Tribulation spinning right there. They have this other glyph that's hanging in there also and they show this winged disk planet like Nibiru coming. See it right here? See the little thing with the smiley face and the wings out to the side? And then as it gets here, it is this arc. See, this is an arc. And inside of here, you can see this alien. See the alien right here? Let's see if it'll spin for us. But you can see that alien right there. See his eyes? There we go. See him right here? That is the same picture that we just showed. That same picture. Just like the the great millstone being cast down and there's the birth of the next age and such all right there so we don't know but we have to keep watch we've broken down many of these glyphs and I just did one about this of Karnak remember from Abraham to Jesus were taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt right here it shows a ship coming right there 
and it crashes into this stone representing Jesus Christ. And then this is the Ark of Jesus Testament which takes off at that time as this guy shows up looking like Davy Jones, the beast out of the sea. See how the guy right here is waiting with the phoenix on his head by the domes? And we leave and we end up all the way up here with Jesus Christ right here in the Ark of His Testament. Just as Jesus had the King Cobra or Moses had the King Cobra snake during the Exodus. Right there. So something is coming to crash the great millstone of the Bible when the angels cast it down. There it is right there. God have mercy on us all. Huh? So there we go. The V, the fifth age, the fifth angel, and the great millstone is coming. We don't know everything for sure, so let's just keep on investigating. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. And right in here it showed Mike, just like Mike the archangel, fighting against these guys that were coming. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.